Lock up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah. yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, took the good, we can pay, yeah. yeah. I don't took a ride in the air, they don't come there, yeah. 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 I don't took a road down, where they kill me. <laughs> some of my sweets be tight, nicks, and some of my sweets be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and with that being said, then. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Yeah. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it. We bring the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the up and come, the everything in between, the entrepreneurs and the supreme teams. You know what I'm saying? Today with me, I got Memphis in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I ride. Yeah, I steal. Uh. Yeah, I put your uh. body in the field. Yeah, <laughs> ho. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Thank ho. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need uh, you know what I'm talking about? That, that, that pimping, that skinny pimping. You know what I'm saying? That man, that's that town, man. It's like, uh, I like to introduce y'all, man, to my special guest, man, Money Man Trey, man. Yeah, baby. It's going down, man. What's up, man? Man, thank you for having me, brother. Man, thank you for having nah, me. man, thank you for showing up. God damn for it. Sure, Shit. Sure. Like, man, what matter of fact, man, for the ones that don't know, I wanna I wanna put it out there again. Please let them know who you are once more and where you're from. First of all, my name is Money Man Trey. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Born and raised. I've been living in the DFW area for about 18 years now. So, you know, that's a it's, it's, this place has been a place of second right. home to me. Right, you know, right. I've, been, I've been here for a good minute now. But everybody, you know. everybody say Dallas is their second home. You know what I'm saying? But every time they come here, they act like it's their first home. They act like it's their first home. <laughs> hey, y'all welcome it. I say nah, that though. Nah, you know, nah, y'all good real. people, man. Y'all welcome us with open our homes. Nah, you know? for real. That's what it is. For you sure. know? <laughs> we call it that Southern hospitality. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Everybody light up. Roll up. You already know, dude. Make sure you hit that the notification. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. You know what I'm talking about? So now we get back to the podcast. So, Memphis. You know what I'm um, talking about? That's where it starts. Hey, man. What part of Memphis, man? Man, I'm originally from Black Haven, Tennessee. Hey, man. Black Haven. Black Haven. You know, it used to be called White Haven. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day when we were running around, you know, didn't know nothing. But, you know, as the black folks infested the area. Yeah, yeah, the roaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what they like to call them. Yeah, they call them roaches. You know, roaches but, you know, like, <laughs> but it turned, you know, it turned into Black Haven. And, you know, and that's just like a, you know, that's just a thing that just stuck to the city, you know. And, and it's just like its own little community. You know what, what I'm saying? What it's like growing up in Black Haven, man? And what's around, what's the surrounding areas okay. of uh, Black Haven? Black Haven, it actually, that is actually where Elvis Presley home is. That's where Graceland is. Right okay, so that's where the movie start off on, on Elvis. The yep, one, yeah, exactly. The one that just came yep. out on Netflix. Uh -huh. yeah. That's my hood right there. You know, shit, I've been there 27 years, never been that day in my life, but I passed by it like, hey, that's what yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot of soul there because that's where Elvis got his soul from. That's where he got his soul from. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, I ain't gonna admit to it, but right, right. That's, that's where he got. He got that's where they showed from. it in the movie. That yes. show. He got yes. his soul and everything from there. Yes. So, what's those was the surrounding cities around there? So in the from you know like in the the white the Black Haven area, you know that's it's more of a southern east side of the city. So it's more of like South Memphis, East Memphis. And it's it's also bordering line Mississippi, mm. and that borderline they call that's like South Haven. You okay. Know? And you know when I was living there back in the day, we didn't you know we was like, you want to say hey, that was a Mississippi. You know, the mm -hmm. Mississippi police were different than Memphis police. You know what I'm right. saying? Memphis police, you can say a couple of things and get up out of it. You right. know, but the Mississippi police, man, they, they ain't you know, yeah, nah, they nah. don't play that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah. So it was like a, but see now. As as the city has changed, a lot of more people are living in the South Haven. A lot of black people has moved to that side because for more it has expanded. Right. It has gotten bigger. Right. You know, and a lot of which I hate, you know, I'll be real, because I don't like that the simple fact that a lot of our money economy from that city is going to Mississippi mm -hmm. to where it should be, you know, still in Memphis. Right, right. But right. you know, Things happen, you know, the city changes, you know, you know, that city is it's not that city that it used to be, you know, fifteen years ago. Right, right. You know. So so like back to like I was asking the question the first too, mm -hmm. um, more like about how was it growing up? Because the way Project Pat and all these guys, you know what I'm saying, make it seem like like it was it was like the trenches. 
I most definitely always, you know. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's the trenches because everybody got the same hustle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And what's that hustle? You know everything. You know, right. shit. We weed. We, okay. You know, right, right, you know right. whatever. Selling you know, clothes, yeah, CDs, clothes I, CDs. You know, shit. You know. Yeah. Well, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Then we ready. I'm ready. So, like, like I was saying, like everybody got the same hustles and everything like that. Yeah, you know, and, and, and you know, it's like it's basically like every city. You know, everybody, right. everybody coming up the same type of way, but it's it's smaller. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like every like you got North Memphis, South Memphis, East Memphis. And all of them ain't no more than 15, 20 minutes apart. Okay. From like here, mm -hmm. you got North Dallas, South Dallas, the clip. You know, and uh, most of those places are 30 minutes apart at most 25, 30 riding. So it's like. Hell no. Nah. What you think? Hell no, nah, nigga. Oh, I can get to South Dallas in five minutes. No, here. But North Dallas. To here? Nigga, yeah, sap so this but where okay. I'm at right now, no. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but if I'm in Oak Cliff, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna take me 10, 15 minutes at the most to get to North Dallas. Cause you gotta realize, like say for instance, like you gotta realize downtown right there and high 45 split. I can come back from I can come off of Illinois 45 okay. right there and then end up on 75 and I already be by, you know what I'm saying, uh North Dallas project. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The beginning of the north. Or you gotta realize I can cross right there from Oak Cliff on A Street, mm -hmm. go over to Colorado, be in West Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Go up on Inwood and be in West North Dallas. Okay, so I hit you like this, dude. <laughs> nigga. You from here. You know how to hit the corner and turn the way I can't hit it, nigga. I gotta get on the freeway. I gotta go down 35. I gotta, so, you know. No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. <laughs> that, but so, yeah. so basically, you saying probably, so where, where you at is probably more like 30 minutes apart, or more, say. It's like, well, in the more sense of the hoods are not too, too far from each other. Okay. All you right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like, we too close. Okay. All right. Now that makes sense. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, our hoods are not far apart. They too close. So it's still like everybody on top of everybody. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost like the country. Yeah. It, it is. Right. And then, you know, right back there, you know, shit, nigga was robbing, man. That was they. Right. You know, that was, that was like number one of the number one. Hustle come up back then to this day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Shit, them niggas back. You know, Memphis had a bad reputation of now, you yes. know, with their work. On robbery. That, nah, they, they ain't want to sell. You know, like, you know, it was a long time like, <laughs> nope, we don't sell Memphis niggas shit. Them <laughs> niggas be robbing. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was that was the thing for a long time. I mean, say, man, even A Ball, MJG, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, on robbery. You know what I'm that, saying? That's what that's how they came out talking about. That was their yeah, first song. That was you know one of their first song. First song. You know what I'm saying? So like, so like at that time, okay, so when, when what year or, or when you were growing up? What, what was your main year? What was My the, year, I can say like, man, I'm gonna tell you this. And, and it's funny you said that. Uh -huh. Because me and my home, I talked to my homeboys about this uh a few weeks ago. And, and and I'm finna hit you with a with a number. Mm -hmm. I'm finna hit you with a number okay. of this year of a year. Okay. And it was just like this was just a fly ass year. Okay. Ninety six. Oh shit. Ninety six was different, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think I think the year Pac died. That was the year Pac died. That was. The it was year a lot of shit went on in ninety six. Triple man. Six came out with World Domination. It, oh, that was a good one. I, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, nigga, that no, was Tear the Club Up. That. Yeah. Tear the Club Up. Tear the Club Up. It's, you know what I'm saying? T Lo. That's uh that's that's, that's Ken Folk there to me. That's yeah. that's oh, family okay. there. Yeah. Okay. Man, but I tell you, 96 was because I'm gonna tell you why 96 was so cold, man, because it was like that era of mm -hmm. Man, you, you got D boys, you still got players in the streets, you know right. what I'm saying? Niggas was getting real money. Right. And it wasn't just, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no hate type of getting money. Right. And it was just like nine, that 96, 97, man, it was just like an era change yeah. type thing. Like yeah. right before the 2000s hit. Right. It still that that was like I 70s. Right, right. If that makes sense okay, to you. Made, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that was a free. Yeah, like, yeah, everything you know was yeah, free yeah, down yeah. there at that time. You and know then what I'm saying? With the 2000s hit. Hell, shit, shit, kinda... I think what Clinton was president then, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. Clinton was president. Yeah, so everything was down there 96, free. 96, I was like in the nigga shit. I think I was in the 10th grade. Okay. I was in 10th grade, 96. Around that era, and then you know that was like, nigga, we were young. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We was outside, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, everybody we, was outside. We was yeah. out. You know, you know, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. It, 
that's when you start feeling yourself a little bit. Mm -hmm. That I just left junior high finna get into this high school life. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And shit, now you kind of, you know, you kind of nigga done showed you how to smoke weed and shit. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, so yeah, it's like, yeah. that's when the, that's when the, am I thugging now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Like, so, like, at that time, like, okay, let's say back in the 80s, you know, you coming up, you know, who was, in Memphis that was putting music out that was drawing you to rap? Like, what, what made you interested in rap music? I can say, like, my interest, my interest in rap kind of came in, like, the early 90s. Music was just, you know, you I, music was just good. Whatever well, was good music, because, you know, that's kind of when the, it was... That was kind of cool. I didn't know where, you know, I was just listening to music. Right, right. You know, if we had MC Hammer and all that shit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you just, yeah, yeah you know what I'm yeah. saying? Just, but, but I can say this, though. I never been to dance and music, dude. I okay. always liked gangster shit. You right. You know what I'm saying? I always liked that A-Ball, MJG. Right. That uh, Dayton family. Ooh, Dayton that, family. You remember that shit, nigga? Man, shout out Dayton family. You know what I'm saying? I'm, the Flint I'm a, niggas, man. And sometimes they want to go where everybody <laughs> sells cocaine. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was a nigga. Yeah. I remember that's why I used to earn my clothes yeah. too in uh, the morning before I go to school. You know what I'm nah, saying? For I real. liked that, that, that gangster shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yeah. But, I know uh, exactly what you're talking about. You know, Ball and G was that, you know, they was. Yeah, they was the pin of Legendary, me, yeah. you know. Yeah. Nine millimeter boys, boys. Yeah, oh yeah, eight ball, eight ball, my favorite. Eight ball's my, you know what I'm saying? It's eight ball, Gator Man. You know what I'm saying? That's your, that's your, that's your top two. Boys, say your top two. Boys, yeah, and PMC, shit. Hey, I, I, hold on, I was just about to say this. Oh yeah, it's so, PMC, it's so yeah. funny you said that because yeah. for me being a Memphis nigga, mm -hmm. I, I love ball, man. Cause yeah. Ball was that lyrical nigga, and he mm. gonna, you know, he gonna present that story, that picture for you. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But I was a pimp C nigga, man, because I just like a nigga how he spit game on the record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like he just, it's a difference, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I love the lyrical. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nigga shit, love the lyrical I love, shit. I, I, I don't, I don't but when that it. nigga give it to you raw, it's 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 just man, it's nothing you can. It's, it's, it's like. Damn, like damn, that nigga gave it to me raw. You yeah, know what I'm saying, man, nigga? You know, like, oh, okay. Yeah, Pimp C was that man. He was that nigga to me though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just he was. And just off of man spitting game. Yeah. On a, and I was, a, but, but hold on now. I was a Tupac. <coughs> I thought I thought I was Tupac biggest fan. I mean, I, everybody, Tupac is everybody's favorite for sure. You know what I'm that's saying? That's like the. The ultimate giving. Right, right, yeah. That's the yeah, that's you know like what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like yeah, the, you yeah, know, yeah, that's, yeah. That's like the giving. Like, you know, it's like, that's just like back in the day, it would be uh, Rakim still to For this sure. day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Because mm -hmm. uh, he had that lyric, he had that harsh lyrical oh, on him. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> like, you know, that Eric B, you know, Rakim, Eric B. You know, Rakim. That, that, that was just like, shit, that, that was the dope boy. Then Rodney O, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what shit, that's... Well, we them, get the finger them, raised. See them givens. You can't you can't argue them names. Nah, like nah, that, nah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But but though, if I was finna get ready to go to war, I know. <laughs> nigga, when it's time, nigga, when it's man, time to ball, they might nah, 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 the nah. my Jeez. nigga, when it's time to put this records on this side of the store, then oh, put okay. your records oh, on yeah, this yeah, side yeah, of the store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and see who sell out first. And see who sell out first, nigga. Nigga say, and see who sell out first. See who sell out first, nigga. Hey. Yeah. Somebody wants you corny nigga records. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. All right, man. All right, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. So, yeah. Man, so basically, so Bob was the more more of the influence for you. Most yeah. definitely because, you know, like, one thing I can say about me, mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm finna put Memphis on, not just on Blast a little bit, though, but just how we are. Right. We just so, we so stuck on us, if that makes sense. We so stuck on our music. You know right. what I'm saying? Because, like... I feel I, I like a I, I ball because he 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 rap how I feel how I sound he sound like me right when he rap when I talk you know what I'm saying right. we sound alike you know what right. I'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like 
just like anybody here, you you gonna kind of sometimes you well Texas I say as a whole, right, you know right. you you gravitate him more because of, he talk like you. He say already, like yeah, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like and Ball yeah. say them, they say man like yeah, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, hold <laughs> up, man, hold up, hold up, hold up. Press the motherfucking gas right quick, man. Press okay. the motherfucking gas right quick. We are gonna get back to this topic because we I got to okay. real quick. Okay. Now, nigga, where the man come from? Now, did the man come from here or did the man come from Tennessee? Man came from Memphis. Man, how you know this? They tell you. They tell me, man. <laughs> I, I, I tell you this. Because I'm getting my Terrence no. Howard on right now, man. Look, yeah, look here, that's, man. That's the worst version man. of man. I'm gonna tell, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to tell you about that man right there. That Terrence Howard, man. I'm that man. I'm going to tell you about the Terrence Howard, man. When when Hustle and Flow came out, yeah, and we was and and, and, and he was in there saying, "Man, yeah. you should have seen the movie theater." <laughs> they was in there like, "Who is this nigga? He is he does not sound like us." Mm -mm. We was like, "Uh, uh, he is an he is an imposter." I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, because our main is like, it's it's person, place, thing, noun, synonym. Your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your uncle, him, her, she, we. Mm -hmm. main, that's main. Uh huh. Okay. And it's just that's just how we say it. It's mm -hmm. a, you know it's an antonym of just how we feel. It's like already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like how y'all say already. Already. Yeah. It's it's main for you us. Know what you know what I'm saying? About. Like somebody say. Down. Yeah. It's, if if y'all. What's up, man? But see, cause we always been saying main from the beginning of the time too. Y'all have. But yeah, yeah, cause you know like. Yeah, I actually number one is number yeah, one on the accent. Definitely, you know definitely. Because y'all got a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like like my name. Yeah. I spell my name money man. Yeah, with an e. e. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's the that's just how we pronounce it. You know what mm. I'm saying? But we overly use it. Right. That's why that's really what it is. You know what I'm I saying? Feel, we I feel. we everything, man, goddamn, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah, like hey, man, we, you know what I'm saying? Like we just, always talking about, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? So, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know uh -huh, what I'm talking about? You know uh -huh. what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's just like New Orleans, you heard me, you heard me, you heard me, you heard me. That's they thing, you, you know what I'm saying? You I ain't did you nothing, you heard me. No, that's they thing, for real. Nah, it be going down. So it's like, it, it, it's like wherever you go, everybody got it, but it's like whoever overly use it. Because you know, mm. I'm sure... It's niggas in Memphis that say, I read it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But it's just they don't overly use it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So who who you think really the f gave Memphis its sound, man? Because Memphis have its own sound. And go back to what you was talking about, how mm -hmm. y'all asphyxiated more on yourself. And I think that's a good thing. At some point, you know, when you asphyxiated more on yourself, because that's what defines you from other people, you know what I'm saying? To give you your originality. Because now today, like today music, it's hard to tell exactly who's, Who's who? Because everybody almost got that same sound, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But versus back then, you knew no limit. You knew triple six. You mm -hmm. knew eight ball MJD. You know what I'm saying? You knew rap a lot. Eighty percent of the time, you could tell if he if he a Memphis rapper, right? Because of how his, his lingo, his slang, or how he rap. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I can I would say, <sighs> who gave us our sound? You know, sound of recognition. You gonna always you you, you would say three six mafia. You know what I'm saying? Because they gave a a brand, a good right. trunk. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Memphis is it's so it's so musically, it's a music culture city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's almost like it's basically like because it's a blues city. So it's almost like a blues hip hop city. And right. it's mixed together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. if you listen how most Memphis, most Memphis nigga rap a lot of time. The beat will be fast, but he'll still be controlling the beat because he, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He's still uh da 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 because mm -hmm. we, because we we have a we not, not a slow mm -hmm. approach, but it ain't always a you you right. rarely hear too many Memphis rappers that rap fast right. fast. You know what right. I'm saying. But because we already got a slur, right? You know what I'm saying. The majority mm -hmm. of how we talk anyway. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying. But I think the the only reason why I would I, I could put it back to Ball and G with the sound is because we it's that they always had that uh, blues sound right. that you know what I'm saying that not get crunk they never had that get crunk sound right you know what I'm saying they always had that mellow rap sound of right. you know what I'm saying the sound of like a grown it always been a grown ahead of their time type. You know what I'm saying? Sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the beats used to be crunk. Because, you know, 
I mean, some of them did, not some all of them. Did. But but you know, and I think you right. A ball MJG really gave Memphis that sound. But I was gonna say more like DJ Squeaky, you know. So D, DJ Squeaky, DJ Zerk. I can say about, I can say about them. They, he had more of that. Get crunk with three six sounds too. That's why it was so dominant. Right. Because both of them was coming with the same sound. Right. But one Squeaky out before? Yeah, and they, they still, Squeaky was out just like a little bit before. Right. Because Paul even tell you he kind of, I think like kind of, uh, kind of like came up under his wing type, not, not even just under his wing, kind of like saw some of his style and kind of, you know what I'm saying, and learned from Squeaky sound. Learned from Squeaky sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, not just took nothing from him. Right, like but he that, learned. Though. Yeah, right, you know right. Just like any predecessor. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh -huh. Squeaky was kind of one of the first, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, underground rapper, mm -hmm. underground uh, producers, you know yeah. what I'm saying, uh -huh. beat makers and shit. But he, Squeaky was cold though, man. Squeaky had them. Yeah, Squeaky, because that's who I first, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's who I first got turned on from from Memphis. Squeaky had that like, sound. Squeaky and, and the ball, mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? That's See, they they were, see, and see, they was collide. I mean, not collide, but they was collaborating a lot. Mm -hmm. Squeaky and, and ball and G, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's why 3 6 had their own little sound, but they were still like, but. Ball and G wasn't squeaky. Mm -hmm. They were just all from Orange Mound. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a. So let's speak about Orange Mound. Like, how far is Orange Mound from Black Haven? I tell you, all them motherfuckers are like tw 20 less than, miles. Tw less so, than 12 so, minutes. So, away so, from so, so that means all y'all pretty much close, right? They not, they not far at all. No, I'm talking about y'all far as people. Y'all cool with each other. Y'all know each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you were saying somebody, you cool with Tila. Oh, that's family. Well, yeah, that's my uh my cousin. That's her brother. Okay. My first cousin. That's okay. Her, uh, that's her brother. brother. Mm -hmm. So that makes him your cousin, or he got they got different daddies or something. They got the same daddies, but different mama. Okay. And then you know she, we always closer to the mama side. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. Well, yeah, I, I was you just talking saying? about. I was just talking about that not that long ago to somebody. I was yeah. like, shit, you know that's how it is when you. Hey, if you were born through mama and shit, dad ain't third, you're gonna be closer to the mama yeah, side. You know, that's you know? just how it go. You know? That's just how it go, yeah. Shit, who, made like, them, who, who made them tuna fish sandwiches at night? Shit, mama, mama and them shit. Did, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> goddamn me. Square business. So, man, what's some lingo? Because, man, I grew up on a lot of, you know, Memphis man, I'm lingo. Finna, I'm finna, I'm finna say like some ink. I want to know ink, you know what I'm saying? Anna, you know. I'm finna, say some, I'm finna say some disrespectful ass shit, but not like that. Memphis start a lot of slang and lingo. A lot of people don't want to admit. You know okay, well, let's talk about it. Okay, shit, because I'm going, I'm going to go bet you. Okay, <laughs> like, so it was like one time I, I was at, the, I, was, I had moved here and I heard this dude say, <laughs> you know, you been way about like, man, that Gucci, that Gucci. <laughs> like we say something good, they be like that's Gucci. Right. They was saying that we was saying that long time ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we, and a lot of a lot of the lingo like. I say, like my new song, Hey Man. I don't know where the hell it came from. But that's just like a, 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 just stuck in my mouth. And you know how, man, we, Hey Man, say Man, Hey Man, Hey, Hey Man. You know what I'm saying? That's just how a nigga talk. All right. And, and, it, and it only, it's not even no trying to say uh -huh. some shit. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? All it's right. just like really just some, like I, I done sat down with a motherfucker, had a conversation, be like, yeah, they be like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just Wait, say, man, hey, talking, man, I'm say just man. talking regular. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> say that shit again. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Some people be like, oh, say that again. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Just on some country shit. Right. But, you know, my, my ain't gonna always be one. Uh, you know, it's, I, I can say, only reason I can say it's kind of hard for me now because I ain't on the, I ain't every day out there on the streets. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'm just saying that your time, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, just, it's the main. Because I'm, right. I'm going to tell you some crazy shit. When I moved away, mm -hmm. I was here probably about five, six years. Mm -hmm. I called my grandma and we were talking on the phone, right? She said, oh, man. And it just did something to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, I, oh, I missed it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. You know? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was just, it's it's just like my, my, your people dial in. You, yeah, know you know what I'm saying? saying? You just connect. She's 80 I'm like, years old. Yeah, she 80. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I was like, hmm. Oh, yeah. Like nigga said, I'm at home. You know what I'm saying? That home feeling. I know what you're talking about. You know? Nah, oh, for real. Right. We'll say some shit, but we, we bring a lot of shit.
Yeah. Even I, I can't really, you know, I don't do too much into new stars because we all, I mean, we all are kind of similar. Oh, most definitely. Processes, so it could have been. I can understand. <laughs> Each other. No matter where we from. Yeah. We can together what you're saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I think that's one of the mm-hmm. toughest things. Yeah. That all yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. You like you showed me how to record myself. I didn't know how to record right. myself. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I knew how to rap the shit out, mm-hmm. but I didn't know how to uh, rap it out. Put the ad lib right here. Put right. an extra sound on it. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And then when when I saw you missing it, then you was like, you know, it, it it showed me how to put the different effects onto the song. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It it, it showed me how to be creative. Okay. On, okay. The, on the song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you took me for a week. Hey, 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 no, no, I appreciate hey, that. Hey, hey, no, no, real, because I didn't know. I really, honestly didn't know. Yeah, that was my, you know. So on this app, you know, this is uh. I gotta, I, get my, I gotta give my boy Bunky some props. Okay. You know, from the Grove. Yeah, shout out Bunky. Shout out Bunky, man. Yeah, you shout know, out shit, this was, this was, you know, I ain't no shit about rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had went to, I went to Atlanta. Uh huh. And shout out to my cousin in, the, uh, in, my, in Atlanta, PJ. My, uh, my cousin Emily, her husband, PJ. Oh, yeah, get lit. He challenged me on, on to write a rap because I was over there freestyling. Right? right. I came back to Dallas, came back after, he was like, man, I wanna challenge you to write a rap. I wrote a rap, you know what I'm saying? We recorded that shit. I came back. I knew Bunky because I had met him just off of, you know, some doing some shit in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We had linked up. And I had uh, I was like, man, check out this little song that I had made, you know what I'm right. saying? And he was like, oh, shit, nigga, it was kind of, it was whack. Not whack. I ain't going to lie to say it was whack. Right. But it was just like, <laughs> you know, now I can say it was whack, you know what I'm saying? Back then when I first did it, I was right. like, man, y'all got to hear this shit. You ain't going to believe I you know what I'm saying? Right. But now it's like, whew, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, shit, nigga, put that shit back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even find that motherfucker on the phone oh, nowhere. Damn. Nah, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said, lost fire. Yeah, it's just gone. It's just yeah. gone. Uh, what it called? Dropbox? Yeah, uh, I dropboxed that motherfucker. Uh, so, but now on the cool though. So, uh, I played it for him, and he was like, man, that's so straight. He was like, it's cool. He was like, I had to give you a song, and you can put it on, on my, I need some Memphis flavor on my album. Right. I was like, all right, cool. He gave me a beat. Man, I came back probably about 30 minutes later. I had, I came up with the hook. I was like, eh, 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 with the hook. he was like, damn, nigga, you did that quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we ended up writing a song. Next thing you know, shit, nigga, a whole album later. Whole album later. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you why this album hurt so dear to me, though, on the cool, though, because we got 12 songs on this album. Okay. I wrote every hook on this album mm. and never done it before. Ooh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. All I right. came up with each hook right. on this album and never did that before. Okay. Congratulations, Appreciate man. It. Congratulations, so man. So that, that put the challenge. <laughs> he say, nigga, I got my strikes, nigga. I went through that. I got my war wounds, nigga. Real quick. You <laughs> yeah, know what I got I'm saying? real quick. I, hey, I, I, you know, I jumped out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We recorded that motherfucker in some... We, hey, we recorded that motherfucker in some little project over there in uh, West Dallas. In the uh, okay, I don't know what it's called. I mean, we called that bitch in the closet. Yeah. I Man, we pulled up to that motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, this shit fun. Hold yeah, on. yeah. Tell me. Hold about on, it. nigga. This shit fun. So we pulled up to the, to the uh, we pulled up over to where the little apartment was at, mm-hmm. and we got out. This nigga, Bunker, he got a pad. I got a pad. Right. Right. So we walking through the walkway. This nigga shooting dice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <clears throat> Yeah, we like, damn, we got walk past these yeah. niggas. You know <laughs> so you know these niggas strapped. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we off balance. No, we strapped too, though. Yeah, but still, yeah, though, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. We, like, we off territory like right, a motherfucker, right. right? Yeah, you know how it goes. So check it out. So this is how the shit got soft, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we walked through. What's up? What up? Yeah. yeah. We knocked on dog. Dun, dun, dun. Waiting on Ken to come out. Nigga said, one nigga said, man, what y'all doing? Selling cable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We bust out laughing. But then Ken opened the door, we walked in. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, nigga, shit, goddamn me. Nigga, what y'all doing? Send the cable. Wait, about y'all the cable guy. Yeah, goddamn, yeah, yeah. that fucked up, nigga. That shit was funny, though, man. Shout out to them niggas in the West, man. Man, for sure, nigga. It did look, it was crazy, because. That, that was the first look. time. That yeah. was the first time. Right. We had at least go back over there like two, three more times. You know what I'm saying? So right. we like, nigga, we got to get, we got to go over here and get three, four songs done quick, man, because we yeah, can't. Yeah. And then look. A week later, uh-huh. about two, three weeks later, somebody got murked right there. Mm. Right in the front, right? That little walkway. Right. Well, because that nigga sent me the new clip in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, check this out. I'm like, damn, nigga, we were just there. I had my nigga come. 
He had he got a song he had a song on there with him. Uh-huh. I ain't tell him though because I ain't. Yeah yeah, be well, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I ain't going through that bitch <laughs> shit. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't going through that hoe. I told him we yeah. got in though. He was like, yeah. huh? Shit, goddamn <laughs> me, nah, for real, shit, nigga. Hey man, shout out to the West man. The West be going down though. Nah, nah for real. yeah, there's some real niggas out there, and whoever that, that nigga must have fucked up in the dice game. Shit, goddamn me. Because he tried to get he tried yeah. to make them niggas look somewhere else or something though. Man, too. shit, hell. Next thing you know, I'll tell everybody y'all. Y'all go to the west, just tell the nigga you the cable guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they gonna fuck with you, nigga. Hey, why you bullshit? Yeah, just tell the hey. motherfucker you the cable guy. Why you bullshit? They gonna be, they gonna fuck with you. They gonna be like, for real, my nigga. Shit, I got thirty dollars, man. Twenty five dollars. Nah, for real, nigga. Shit, man. I know. I used to be out there in the west every day, every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My mama used to do her right there on Ville Big. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Nifty Barber and Beauty Shop shit. Mm-hmm. And, and I grew up with Mr. Wimpy. You oh, know yeah. oh yeah, see him and his two sons. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been there since till Mr. Wimpy passed away. Everything, you know. So, shoot, Miss King, all that. So, yeah, man. Shout out to the West, man. So, man, like, so your first time, you you know, sit here and you wrote all the hooks on her. Oh, this my then, Rolla, then your first album with me, I don't even know that. that ain't shit, that shit crazy. That's like. Man, so, y- y- y'all just got informed of some black history. Man, yeah, this is some black today. history right now. <laughs> goddamn me, shit. Goddamn, and it's all year around. Goddamn it. You got some black history, yeah. man. You know what I'm man, saying? So, like, what did you, so, so, who, who, like, so Bunky was your influence, basically. Basically, yeah. Yeah, he, basically. He, he, okay. he put me, he got, he, he showed me how to lace up. You know what I'm saying? Put a track together. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, uh-huh. you know, put the shit together. Put it on the album. You right. know what I'm saying? How right. To, you know how to do this shit. So, so who been your biggest support since you've been starting this? Like, who been in your corner? Well, you know, family always in your corner. Yeah, 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 definitely. Right now? Right. I can say right now, I'm, I'm working with a, uh, I'm working with an engineer right now. Okay. His name D. Lyle. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we putting together Shades of Trey. Mm-hmm. The next one that's gonna be called the Deluxe Edition. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Cause this gonna that Shades of Trey. Uh-huh. You know we gonna I'm, I'm capitalized. So Shades of Trey with. Ca- mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, man. You know, so he been my boy D. Lyles. He been you know he. One good thing about him is you know we've been rocking together for a good few months now, close to okay. a year or so. You no, know, okay. just on you know strictly on the straight music tip, and but he he's a good dude. You know right. we've been you know we've been rocking for a minute. Right. And he's from Memphis. Okay. Okay. So, so y'all can relate. Yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. We we it's a, it's easier to put our sounds together because we feel the same way. Right. We you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a it's the same type of vibe type right. of thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So And so what he do he do beats too? Oh yeah, he, yeah. All he, right, so he, that's who been doing some of the production. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. He okay. did he did so, about he did about three, four cuts. Okay. On this uh on, on the deluxe edition. Okay, you know what I'm that's saying. That's what's up. That's what's up. For yeah, real, man. For so real. it's been, you know, it's it's been fun, man. You right, know, right. I can say that, you know, just just off of, you know, you know, sometimes you never know a creative side of you till man right. you start doing some shit. Facts. Facts. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. And and I've been having more fun with that, just being, you know, have fun with being creative. Because, you know, I've been, you know, sitting for my, some, some of my videos, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, I mean, right, right. I do some silly shit, you right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, your videos live. But it be fun, though, you I, know what I'm, I'm saying? About you, you got some live, live videos, nigga. I've been big, I've been yeah. big perm. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but you know, it's yeah. just a simple fact of man, you gotta have fun with this shit too, though. You nah, know, what you I'm do saying? gotta have fun with this shit, man, for real. Like, and that's why I was gonna ask you, man, what, what what's the feedback been like? So, it's okay. So, hit this how the feedback go. Okay. Right here. Mm hmm. Fuck you doing, nigga? What the fuck is you doing? What is you, why is you doing this shit? Right, right, you right. You know? Mm hmm. This one here. Mm hmm. It's like, Hold on, nigga. You gotta got a little something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, wait a minute now. Wait. Yeah. You know, the views went up yeah. on this one. Okay. But you know, that's just the growth. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, that's all it is. It's that's just like growth. you know what I'm saying? Like right. I can listen to this motherfucker right now and be like, woo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then I listen to this one, then I be like, yeah, okay, now nah, I I it's 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 a total, you know, it's a right. difference. It's mm-hmm. an elevation. That's why 
on this next one, you know, I'm just trying to do better. You know right. what I'm saying? Just right. trying to be more creative with my music and my sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? But still be me and don't be, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to sound like, you know what I'm saying? Like right. the up and coming sound that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't cause right. I ain't no singing ass nigga. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I'm a melody ass nigga, though. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Say so nigga hold a tune or yeah. something. Yeah. You know? But see, that's that that's that pimp C. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that he right. wasn't no singing ass nigga. No, but yeah. But he you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got in there. I got pain. Yeah. <laughs> I got play. Yeah. I got play. Old school cars. Lovely lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got hope. I do show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got to be the singing yeah, name, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, shit. He make that shit sound good. God yeah. damn me, shit. Man, man, you I'm know, f- that's what been, that's, I can say that's what been, that's what I've been having fun with, man, just on it, you know, just trying to. Be different creatively with right. the shit. You know nah, what that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, so rapping ain't always just been your dream. It, so what, what was always your dream? Man, I'm, I'm just a hustling ass nigga, nigga man. Hustling. You know yeah, what I'm like, saying? Yeah, it's like, know. if, like, we like hustle better. man on Martin. I just, yeah. I'm a <laughs> but an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, but an upgrade. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? It's like, like, it's but, like, I'm, 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 I'm him. Yeah. But just a little bit of, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I ain't right. gonna hit you with the, huh, nigga, check yeah, this yeah, out. Yeah, no, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But I can go around the corner and get it. Yeah, though, I know, you know what I'm saying? Already, already. <laughs> Wait, so you remember that time the nigga came to Martin, nigga, before that wedding, that nigga had brought some chili yeah. in the floor? <laughs> like, nigga, where you pull that shit out of here, nigga? Boy, that nigga right real Oh, Tracy man. Boy, Tracy Boy, that boy, nigga was a fool, fool with it. Yeah, yeah, he was a fool with it back then, man. And you know what, man? That's what, you gotta have fun with this right, shit, You gotta man. have fun you know with this saying? shit. Nah, for real, you gotta have fun with this shit, like, when, for real. You just, when you, you know, you just, you know, being an artist is, is one thing, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, though? But you gotta do something to stick out just a little bit, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You gotta you can't do something be, different. Yeah. You ain't gotta have your hand in something different. And I noticed you got your hands in something different too in the party buses, man. When you started yeah, man. So I did. The, I started the party bus like about <laughs> six, seven years ago. I mm-hmm. call it Thrills on Wheels. One of the coolest party bus in the DFW area. So you know, if you got a good night, you know, you want to hang out with your friends. Y'all don't want to drink? Hit us up. We live. We got the internet on there. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, play your music, your videos. It's just a dope setting. Thrills on Wheels. Thrills I just on Wheels. Yeah, I mean, but I you know, that was just in. a slick, you know. A slick little little venture thing that I did, and you know what I'm saying, and it, it just, you know, I just try to be creative, you know what right. I'm saying, and then like, so, tell you some G shit, you know what I'm saying, like I always every little job that I had, I started a business off of it, right? You know what I'm saying. When I first moved out here, I didn't know nobody, you know what I'm saying. I had the uh, kind of, you know. Had to network. I'm a networker. I meet people, right. talk to people. I bump, rub, bump, show. Mm-hmm. I moved out here. I ain't know nobody. I was working at the rental car place cleaning cars. It's right. in 2007. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I uh I started my own business. I bought me a truck. <laughs> bought me a truck. I bought me a tank with some water. I bought me a pressure washer. And I started washing cars around the city. Washing them, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm gonna tell you something. I did this shit for about probably about <clears throat> about two years at most. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. I did that about two years at most. And the connections that I made were priceless. I was just about to ask you about that. You know what I'm saying? Cause Dallas, you gonna meet all type of people. You nigga looking like a bum. That nigga worked that straight millionaire. But see. I was a, I was a pride car wash nigga. Mm-hmm. I ain't no little dollars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I was a hustle man, but I was just a little bit of an upgrade, you know what right, I'm saying? You right, go, you right. know, my my time is more valuable than anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. So I did that. I started my own little business doing uh detailing cars. Had a couple of guys working with me. They ended up getting deported, so. <laughs> Lost them. Hey, 
Hard for a nigga out here 100 degrees in the, in the uh, summertime, you know what I'm saying? So I had to elevate, you know what I'm right. saying? I was working this job, and I was uh, driving buses. And I was like, man, it'd be dope if I had one of these motherfuckers turn to a party bus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was like, shit. Got talking to some motherfuckers. Nigga was like, man, I know somebody got one, and he ain't doing nothing with it. He, uh, he ain't even done with it. That motherfucker he wasn't done with, I got it in the bread, I got it. She finished that motherfucker off and she been rocking that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Been rocking the sense. Yeah, you know. Nah, that's what's up. Nah, that's how I mean that's that's how some ventures go. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like that. Yeah, stick your neck out sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, though, you know yeah, yeah sometimes you gotta just go hey, out there. But I'm gonna tell you some I'm gonna tell you some wild shit though. You wanna hear a wild story? Go ahead, hit me. I love the stories. Hold mm. on, but we story time. This is her gonna sting yeah, though. Got, oh shit. This is okay. her gonna sting. All right. First run, seven hundred dollars in my pocket. Just picked these folks up. I did everything right. I get to the highway. I picked these folks up. I ain't get to the highway. Spark plug popped out. Whoa, nigga! I broke down on my first run. I had to get them folks their money back. I ain't even got to the highway yet. Damn. You know what I'm saying? My first run turned into a tow bill and fucking getting my shit fixed. My first run. I started off in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Started off in the hole. That's how, I, you know, y'all pay attention now. This game, <laughs> game, you know man, what I'm you saying? Man, you can't Message. give up, man. Do what you want to do then. You know, you know hey, you got to stick with it. Well, you know, the biggest challenge is shit, notification. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to get somebody to like you or to show that they like you. And you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that because everybody ain't going to like you, for one. And then, two, you can't worry about, you can't stop with, you know what I'm saying? Right. When somebody don't like you, you know what right. I'm saying? Like your style, you know right. what I'm saying? Everybody got style. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's hard to, you know, just to get the notification if you ain't paying for the notification. Yeah, because you got to, I was just about to say, you got to pay for it. You got to pay for but it. But then the two, too, then again, too, also, it's, you got to grind for it because I think a lot of people don't understand. They too. give up too easy, man. Once they get that money, you know what I'm saying? And then even not when they get the money, it's like even when they yeah, probably already it. got the money or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be, it's like a lot of cats don't go outside of their radius. They stay right here in their local city be fair. instead of just going all the way out and traveling with their stuff mm-hmm. and then getting to meet more people, getting more people to tune into their social media, you know what I'm saying, and de- developing relationships with real real fans you do instead. have to do that though yeah. you know what i'm saying that, that yeah, is instead true. of just waiting for online fans you know what i'm saying it's like shoot i done learned the difference like over the years you know what i'm saying just to get some insight to that uh question and mm-hmm. um into the subject is that i remember back when we was doing this music we stayed on the grind we stayed on the road everywhere we went you know what i'm saying we meet new people you know what i'm saying and then the internet just Magically, as I knew, was gonna do what it's gonna yeah, do, yeah. and it took up. And I learned the difference between my internet fans mm-hmm. and then the fans that I uh, that we accumulated while traveling. Yeah, and man, we got some man. Shout out to our fans, to <laughs> Miss Long Records, to lyrical fans. You know what I'm saying? Cause, <laughs> no, because no, they they still wait to the day when you drop when you when drop you, something. When, in the, when is this? When is that? You yeah. know, so where is your show? Da 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 da. Y'all got any merch? Let me buy a hat. Let me do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you know. That that right there. You know, your biggest fan is the one you don't know though. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. You that's know what just, I'm saying? That's just real. And those are those the ones you really you cherish to a certain degree. You make sure they are right. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? At all costs. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And 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 that's what's gonna get you to, that 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 one's gonna turn to that one thousand that one hundred yeah. to that uh-huh. one thousand to that, you know what I'm saying? That's yep. gonna constantly grow. And I tell people because it's just word of mouth, man. When somebody talk about you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That, that right. makes the other person interest 
in what they talking about. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that and that's it, that's it, that's in business. You right. know what I'm saying? The most successful businesses. Yeah. The most successful businesses, you know, they started off with word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. These little businesses anyway that don't that came up. Man, I'm I'm gonna tell you something that I don't notice, and it's and it's just real, you know. Now, you know, you can have some dope shit in whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Not even just music, but any little business you have. But, man, people want to know your story, though. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Like, you know, your story is what sells you as a person, as a whole. You know what I'm saying? And it just, you know, it, they say it's your brand. I mm-hmm. get that. That's how, that. That is what it is, though. But your brand comes from your story, man. You know what I'm saying? Or right. What you went through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because every because most people relate to what you went through. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and how how the best way to tell your story. Right. Through well, one for one thing, through the music, of course. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? From what you um getting at. And two, is the podcast, these interviews, these, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That and then you going around Sharing that with them, you know what I'm saying. Your your daily vlog, humanity, man. You right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, and um, and that's what and that's what the fans want. You know what I'm saying? Fans want to know what was your upbringing like. You know what I'm saying? How was it growing for you? Like, what type of life did you live? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Where you like like especially like where you get the name Money Man Trey from? Like, like you know, what I saying? always had a uh, I always had a hustle, little right. little uh mentality. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I was raised with a mother and. I have three sisters, mm-hmm. you know, two that was, that was always living with the one on my dad's side. Right. But I was the youngest right. out of the three sisters. Right. But I wasn't just never really kind of just like that boy that was just in the house and played with my sisters type shit. I right. was always outside. Right. You know, my homeboy and them stayed around the corner a block over. Right. You know, I had one homeboy. My I had one homeboy. Uh, His daddy was a hustling ass nigga. But clean. This nigga sold socks, t-shirts, cologne, CD, DVD. But that's not saying that. Yeah, I gotta think. This in the early uh, '90s, late '80s, where food stamps were still on the paper type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we used to go over to our third mm-hmm. and sell socks right. and cologne for him. You know, we we was his little runners. Right. If right. that made sense, nah, you know fact. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that just that just kind of gave me a little. You know, I was like, when I was in high school, nigga, I was selling disposable cameras and shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, yeah, oh, Kodak. Like, yeah, yeah, you remember yeah, them yeah, back in the day? You know what I'm saying? I had a box of them bitches. I would come sell them hoes yeah. in school, and them motherfuckers would buy that hey, shit. Yeah, you were, yeah, especially if you had the waterproof kind. Nigga, you had the waterproof, nigga. It's on. You do whatever with them. Oh. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Oh, you got the waterproof one, nigga, with the case on it? Let me get that right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> and then, I, you know, I always been the type of nigga that I don't steal. I buy this shit. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I buy this shit and sell it. You know what I'm right. saying? I ain't no stealing ass nigga. Right. Man. Buy low, sell that high. ain't never been my conscious type thing. You know what I'm right. saying? So what did you so was, did you ever grow up? Well, like how was your household uh, growing up? Was you in poverty? Was it mom and dad? Was it Nah, it was just like, my mom and my my mom mama worked two jobs. Right. Really it was just mama worked two jobs and she really my oldest sister, she moved here. Right. That's how I, cause I, cause I had an auntie and a cousin that had moved out here a long time ago. Mm. So you know we used to come out here in the summers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but I was young though, like fourth, fifth grade type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then I came probably one more time again, like in junior high. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the summer. But my cousins, you know, we was back and forth. But mm-hmm. my sister moved out here, you know. Uh, so then my other sister. End up moving out here, right? You know what I'm saying. And then I was like, everybody was like, "Where you? Where you? Where you going? I mean, when are you coming? When are you moving to Dallas?" I was like, "I ain't moving to Dallas. You crazy? I'm a Memphis <laughs> nigga for life. I ain't going nowhere, <laughs> bro." I was sitting at home one day. Some shit had happened. You know what I'm saying? You know, I I was getting, you know, I was kind of, I was kind of out there doing a lot, and I kind of. Got to that point where I kind of felt the walls kind of closing in, like type shit, where I kind of felt like niggas was kind of 
you know what I'm saying? Want to come get you? Yeah, type right. shit. Like, uh, kind of. No, you know these niggas from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't, you know, I I ain't trying to say it like that though. But it's just, you know, I saw some things that I didn't like. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel nowhere that I kind of wanted to move in Memphis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, it was gonna either be Atlanta or Dallas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that I was doing for Atlanta wasn't falling into place, or so Dallas was falling in place. Mm-hmm. And I was like, shit, fuck it. I, I just I, I had Memphis had ran this course for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I had got all I could out of Memphis. So it was just like, I'm finna move. And then, you know, right. those my two choices. Say so, nigga, you ran Memphis, you bled that bitch dry, huh? <laughs> hey man, hey, it was a I had fun in that city, man. I love that city, no, man. You know it, what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like home. You ain't know what I'm saying? Like ain't nothing like home. Then right. home is different now, boy. I right. swear, boy. I go home now, I be like, woo. Like what? What's what, what's home now? Like what is it like now? Man, go see family. Yeah. Go, you know, go, mm-hmm. you know, go hit a little bit of spots that I know. Yeah, I can't be reckless like I used to. You right. know what I'm saying? I just keep it one thou. Have it changed? Them corners though. ain't the same corners. It ain't like the same corners. Nah, right. That's what I'm saying. Change, right? Yeah, and I want to play with them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And all them niggas more rugged. No, I'm gonna call my people though. I'm good mm-hmm. though. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna be just. You know what I'm right. saying? Nah, for real. Nah, facts. You already know. Shit. God I'm damn. like ball. That boy said, "Oh, I'm 25 now." Been gone, gone away for five strong, strong and, and so much shit, shit done changed change around, around my mama, mama home. home. You know what I'm saying? My PO yeah, say a nigga right. can't cheat, hate, hate no, no more. You know what the justice right. system trying to play me with revolving doors, yeah, violate right. parole, and I'll be facing time again. <laughs> in the pen telling me how what niggas supposed to win. Man, I hit my niggas up with turn me on back in the game. Say, bro, say, don't do not do me like that, man. <laughs> man no. I can't help it, man. So, that's the lingo. Man, say, man. So, like, <laughs> so man, so like, what? So when you when you came to Dallas, did you what music? What music was you on when you came here? And then what music did you start to, to uh, discover or as Dallas artists when you got here? So like I said, when I first moved here, I was still stuck on my my, my, my Memphis yeah, sound. You know what I'm saying? I was Project Pat was. I had that project pet rotating so hard, man, because it was just like, I just missed this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I was tough on Gotti. Gotti. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that was my age range. That was right. my, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, he was younger than me, so you know what I'm saying? But not just like that, though, but he right. still was a few young, younger than me coming right. up, so that was just my era of music listening to. Facts, facts. When I, man, I'll tell you who the first rapper, Dallas rapper, that I came across, that I was like, okay, this nigga tight. The nigga in the West, what's his name? Chief Keith? Big Chief. Big Chief. Boy, don't he said, nigga, big, he nigga, Chief Keith. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Chief. Yeah, Big Chief. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don Chief. There, he had a, yeah, he Don had, Chief. He had a few little albums. Nah, but didn't I, he? he got a plethora. Yeah, but <laughs> he had, but he didn't he had like a little strong little mix. He tape. greedy. Yeah, that's he, what it yeah, was. He had the yeah, values. yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga was going. I ain't gonna lie, he was going hard on that bitch, yeah. man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he Duh. was. Chief was. He, I, he, I had, that. That was my first. Like, okay, I, this nigga. He, he's a, this the first. That was the first Dallas rap because you know, like I said, I was. I was hanging with. Shout out, Big Chief. OG nigga, Don for, Chief. Uh, my, my OG partner. He's from the West. You know what I'm saying? He was playing this shit, mm-hmm. and that's how I kind of. Uh, yeah. Kind of got a hold to it. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Yeah. And then she. Well, you know, I always been, you know, Texas. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. you know, I like Slim Dog. Oh, I knew shit, you were finna go you know straight to Houston. You went straight to Houston. I'm talking about you just, just jumped over Dallas like that, then you and then you just went straight. Because, Man, you know, shout out to H Town, though. It ain't no disrespect. But you know, but God. And that's damn. true though. That's yeah, true though. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no shot though, but yeah. It seemed like outside of Texas, y'all are considered as a whole. Damn, for real. Kind of. You think I mean, that's it? cool. I mean, that, I mean, shit. God damn. I mean, hey, I mean, it is what it is. I think. I think. I think it's more put up y'all Texas rappers right. outside of right Texas, not right, Texas. and not knowing how big Texas is yeah. and how that like, much different a lot of us are because mm-hmm. you know, like, because you got South Texas, you got North Texas, which we North. Most you definitely. see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you got to realize, because we North Texas, then we got West Texas, then you got, you know what I'm saying, you got East Texas, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what, I like them East Texas niggas, man. Yeah, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, man, about them East Texas niggas, man. Every time I meet one here, 
They just they 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 some humble niggas, man. They 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 be good niggas, man. We're they good niggas. Be, yeah, they they. Are you yeah. East Texas? Uh, my pe- all my people from East Texas, oh, really? oh, all my people, shit. Dangerfield, Man, Pleasant, yeah. all, all through there, okay, really. What's up? You know what I'm saying? But I, but for real, I ain't know that though. Mm. Most people that I meet from Longview and shit Longview, like that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just they be just they normal niggas, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get about that be, about that money too. Yeah, they yeah. they don't. They, that, but see, they don't be extra flashy type mm-hmm. niggas. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They just be man. Regular niggas, man. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, for real, for real. And 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 shout out to East Texas, you know, and all you know the surrounding areas because you know they they the ones who keep us thriving though. You know when when we for when sure. we need show money when we need when nah, we got when it's time to you know saying you know get these views on these YouTubes all they that stuff through. like that they come, they come through. through. You know what I'm saying? All the way. Cause like, they be looking for that entertainment, right, man? Though, on the cool though, that's all some real the, shit. All around Texas, yeah, from top to the bottom. Shit, you know what I'm saying? From from left to right. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. it's like it's it's like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, shout out Texas in the whole man. You know what, sure. what I'm saying? You know, I fuck like, with that. I like I like that, that Mo three. Yeah, you know, Mo three. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, Mo no, three was a beast. Legend. He was a Dallas legend. Man, he was a beast. Yeah. He gonna go down as a, as a Dallas legend, man, because he had that he had that good unique sound, man. Right, you know, was, you know what I'm saying? Nah, he he came when he came out, he came out definitely at the damn right time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, and it, it was and wide it, open for him, and it was wide open. It was fresh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta realize too at that at that time when Mo three was bubbling. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Spliff Wayne. Um, you gotta realize, man, Jay Merrill, he was just now going to prison. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Bowleg locked up. You know what I'm saying? Gator Man took like a little break. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, you know, Lucci, he locked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pookie was on a little break. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, even at that time, he probably dropped Undisputed and stuff like that, but he still took his yeah. little break. You know, yeah. it was like everybody was like, ah. and that was it. You just gotta stay consistent, mm-hmm. man, just to keep putting it in folks' face. You know what I'm saying? Right. Saying? You know, yeah. Mm hmm. And it was just, it, and it was just another season. It was just like, the, you know, the new wave coming out. Dallas mm-hmm. that change, you know. Bay Bay coming taking over the scene. You know what I'm saying? Took over the city. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Bay Bay came on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. You know, uh, you know, Skip Cheatham kind of, you know, went back to the back. You know, yeah. Greg Street left. You know, I'm hate I didn't go to that BET award though, man. I bet this I went shit. to the man. I went to the BET awards. The BET yeah. shout out for Money Man Rado. Mm. The BET awards. Hey man. The B tour was was lit. Okay. I'ma tell you one thing. You know what I'm saying? I done seen a lot of shows in Dallas, and Dallas have great shows. Yeah. Uh, especially from the House of Blues on up. Yeah. But as far as that, B T mm-hmm. Awards was like the best show I done seen in Dallas Man, that's in a long up. time. You that's know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of people there. Everybody was there. Shout out Super Tight TV. Bobo Luciano mm-hmm. was in the goddamn building. <laughs> My boy, shout out Pile uh TV. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment was in the Pile Entertainment was in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? Yo. My boy Rabbi, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. Who else was in there? Uh Soul Player TV was in the building. Rainwater was in the building. Uh Armani Rose, goddamn me, was in the that's building. What's up. Man, it was man. Say, uh, yeah, man, Lil Will y'all. was in Lil Will was in the building. Goddamn me, man. Say, it was it was yeah, man. A lot of people got some awards. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people got awards. Congratulations! Oh, my boy got an award. Uh, Mike B. Congratulations, oh, yeah, Mike, Mike B. B. Yeah, on the uh, uh-huh. videographer of the year, man. Congratulations! Oh, yeah. That boy be yeah. working, boy. Yeah, that boy he be working. Yeah, that boy camera tied yeah. than a motherfucker, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That boy's yeah. camera tied, man. Nah, nah, for real, man. Uh, it, man, it was say, uh, who else got an award? I'm trying to remember uh, his name because I always share his music, man. He's going to be like, damn. Mm. But he deserved that award, man. Uh, yeah, he deserved that award, man. It was so many people. It was so many people that night. It was so many people that performed. Um, oh, it, it was, uh, it was man, a lot I'm of performers tell, that night? Yeah, man, it was so many performers, but, man, they all put on the show, man. They had, they all actually put on, everybody was together. Man. The dancers, they had the dancers. Everybody was on cue. Everything was, was like, right. man, that boy, that boy, Free Game came out. Mm. This nigga's name, Free Game, he came out and the boy and took tour that stage up. What? Yeah, nigga named Free Game, man. I was up. like, I was like, damn, okay. And then shit, Money Man Rado pulled up in that bitch in the mm. bus. Mm. He pulled up in the, yeah, the big big bus. You know what I said? The tour yeah. bus. You know what I yeah. said? Pull up in that bitch. Woo. You know what I'm It was like, okay, they made damn. this bitch look good. And this bitch was in the heart, in the West. Oh, in, what, what was that it bitch that? was in West Dallas on Inwood. Damn. Hey, yeah, yeah, that hmm. bitch was in the West. You know what I'm saying? Like that bitch was like, yeah. And then you know, you know what the fuck? You want to know what's up? 
Man. Nah, man. I was in that bitch <laughs> with this nigga. Nah, for real. I was in the bitch with this nigga, man. And uh, man, it's a true story, man. I'm in the bitch with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody, you know, we getting lit, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then uh, I leave, you know, and the next day he texts me and talking about, yeah, he's a partner who who we came with and shit. That nigga ended up testing positive for COVID. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, But man. you want to know what? When he came, mm-hmm. when his partner came and sat down next to me, you know what I'm saying? For some would just tell me, and it's time to go home. Yeah, and I just got up. You know he what I'm saying? Stay around long. Yeah, I, I, I got up. Went home. Yeah, because he probably would be like, "Man, did you see that?" Man? Like, oh God, it's over. <laughs> no, man. But so shout out, man. But I mean, not shout out, but everybody. I better watch out like that. I guess that. I guess COVID still going on. Nah, I, I seen the news, nigga. Yeah, shit. it they, ain't far. Yeah, they say they got something new going on too. Shoot, what you right? mean new? I, I don't know, man. They got something new going on. I don't know, man. They saying some new stuff stronger than man. You than know the, they want you to take a boy. shot, though. Huh? They want you to come take a shot. Man, ain't nobody getting on that boy shot. Come on, get you a shot, man. Nah, shit, get healthy. Hell, nah. I'll, I'll take a shot of that crown vanilla. You got that right. That's for day or so. Nah, for real. Shout out, man. So, like, so. So Chief was the only one you really just got well, you know, on he was in the, 03. And <coughs> I was, then Ace Town was. You know, Ace Town, uh, well, you know, them legendary names. You know oh, yeah, them names? legendary names. Like, yeah, they. Yeah, and, they but to be honest with you, though, bro, that's that's just my era. And right. then that's why when a nigga hear my music, they're going to be like, that nigga old, though. But then it's not old. It's just like, man, that's my era of music. And right. that's what. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what y'all sampling right now. Exactly. You know Actually, to be everybody sampling that shit. Yeah, now. everybody sampling that shit now. Everybody sampling and re shit, and redoing the style and 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 and, and yeah, putting the style out mm-hmm. and acting like it's your style. It's yeah, like, exactly. That all that style been done. All that drill music. A lot of people don't know drill music was already been there, been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Horror music. All that yeah, been there, done uh-huh. that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We had niggas like. Uh, wasn't that EBK all day to the day I died? Wasn't that Brother Lynch, huh? You know what I'm saying? You don't remember Brother Lynch? I remember Lynch. that, though. I remember Brother Lynch. Yeah, Brother Lynch. He was, from, he was on that Master P, Down South yeah, Hustlers and shit. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, I think he was also on that, on that body. I'm, I'm about I, it. I, I hit that nigga was, up from yeah, uh-huh, my four yeah, zones. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Had to get dirty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, shit, yeah, that, yeah. That you see, man, it's like, Man, that shit, drill music always been there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey. Man, it's, it's really just how you put it out, man. Right, you know it's all about how you put and it out. And every city mm-hmm. have their own lingo and lingo of how they say stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's You know, that's all it really did. And then you, you basically all they really did was took a brand of a name and took it and capitalized it was drill music. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was. Back in the day, you know, it was gangster, gangster music. Rap. You know what I'm saying? Or gangster horror rap. gangster rap. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They had they always I changed. Mean, it's been drilling a long time ago. That, that, that's how they hide history. They always change the name of mm-hmm. it. Make you confused. Makes they, sense. Yeah, that's how yeah, that's makes you sense. know what I'm saying? That's how nigga, that's how they confuse you. Nigga, they changed your name. Nigga used to be nigga with, with uh, Kunta, right? Mm. Then they changed the nigga to Toby. Toby. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> you been cooped up for too long now. You know what I'm saying? They got that name, Toby. We'll put some new whips on you and call you Toby. As a matter of fact, Toby Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Toby Bernard Johnson. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, they know how to do it now. Nah, for real. So what's the next step for you, man? What's the next chapter, man? Man, like I say, man, I'm finna do this deluxe edition, man. Deluxe I, edition, okay. I got, I, I got a plan. I got okay. a plan, man. All I said, right. I said Gave them two albums. Okay. I'm going to give them one more. One more? One more hard one. Damn. And then I'm going to retire. What you think you're going to retire? And I'm going to do a retirement album. A retirement album? Yeah, and then if they like that one, I'm going to come back again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, shit? What I'm going to do? You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Go out there and steal them fans, man. Get no, out that's there. how I'm going to steal them. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling them I'm leaving. Man, you got to get on this stage. Hey, man, what, what's better than a farewell tour? Man, a farewell tour, man. Shit. <laughs> it ain't ain't nothing better than a farewell tour. If somebody show up to that bitch, somebody got to show up. They going to come. Yeah, they better come. I'm going to tell them. I'm saying, y'all, this is my but, last one. Come but see me. But if they come, then shit, it can't be no farewell. That means you need to keep going. I'm going to say, I, you know what? Nigga, 
Every Saturday morning, you wake up the furniture company going out of business, ain't they? Shit. Every Saturday morning, the furniture company, the furniture company say, "Hey, come get this furniture. We going out of business. Yeah, they ain't never going out of business. They yeah. still open. It's all Shit. about getting them. There. Hey, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna be gone. <laughs> It's liquidation over here. Come, come see me before I leave. They gonna Bye be like, now. they gonna be like, he leaving. Y'all come on down. Be like, you know what? Y'all showed up for me for so much. I right. really appreciate it. I feel right. like I need to do I, it I just, again. I need you know to stick around yeah, for a little so, bit longer. That's about three more albums. Yeah, you know what three more albums. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I could. Man, man, you should, I think you should start throwing your own parties. Putting your stuff together. Get out here with you no. Know, get with the promoters like Lil B and them. Yeah. Throw some shows, man. That's what's up. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know none of them. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, they say you in the music business now, so now you gotta get on the hustle. You a hustle man, ain't you? Big, big, you said you said just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, yeah. Really a little talking. bit more than hustle man. You know just what a saying? little bit more. You just know what a little saying? bit more. So hey, you gotta put that little bit I'm more. Rubbing, in the, believe you, be yeah. I'm rubbing elbow. Right, right. You got we gotta got start it. following the white people. Big facts. But I gotta show them I'm serious though. But you is showing you. You got album. You got album cover. I do. Hey, you got videos. I do. Hey, you got a party bus. I do. Hey, you look the part. Hell, shit, you got the cash. Shit, nigga, get off your ass. That's really what right. it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to make your, your nigga your your what it say your your network is mm. your net work network. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get out here, mingle. Get to know these motherfuckers. It, it, get in touch with some of these social. Need, put me in the room, it, man. I mean, you need to. You need to start linking up with me or something, my nigga. Because when I come, yeah. when I go out there, I don't see you. Now nah, you don't. Nah, I, don't, I, don't yeah. I don't know. I don't know yeah. about like yeah. like when you said the BET awards. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I I call my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I took that shit personal. You know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> nigga, why the fuck we wasn't there? You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck we didn't know nothing about? It? He said, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, nigga, oh, you we still call, are. Who you call, My Bookie? engineer. Oh, your engineer. Oh, okay. No, nah, Bookie didn't know either shit, <laughs> yeah. nigga. We was on three-way. <laughs> Where we on three-way? Yeah, we was on three-way. Yeah, we was on <laughs> three-way. Yeah. We, he telling us all about the damn, uh, about the war show. We like, oh, man, damn. Yeah, man. Yeah, see? Yeah, we man. just don't, like, we don't like, know. One thing I know about Dallas is you can benefit, but mm -hmm. you got to support. You know, oh, and, them, and, them, and, them, and them niggas don't really see you support, niggas don't see you out there, niggas don't really too much, you know, fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? That's, like, that's support, one thing that's, I know. That's, that's number one. Yeah, that's number one, because nigga, you want a nigga to support you too when you doing shit, okay. and you know, if you gonna see that support, it just don't shit on that nigga when that nigga support you, you know what I'm saying? Unless that nigga, you know, a bullshit ass nigga, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you got some of them niggas out there be going too far, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You got them alcoholics and all that, you know what I'm saying? Can't control shit. Can't control they self, yeah, yeah, can't right. control you know they So you got to know how to, you know, control those situations. But mm -hmm. like I hear, like like I say, like Money Man Rado shit. That nigga, you know, it was it was nothing. It it, it was it was it was like like I say you. You supposed you support somebody like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they've been putting on and helping all these artists trying to get to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Don't give a fuck if he throwing the show together, whoever comes see it or not. Mm -hmm. But he makes sure he he packs them bitches out. Yeah. So that's good. You know, that's good enough for me. I don't give a fuck if Def Jam ain't there. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if Atlantic ain't there or uh, Interscope or any one of these, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause that time will come. You it know will. what I'm saying? Like, I could say I, I could I I could most definitely say I could be more visible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, right? But and and, and the point of, of I be being more visible, I'm still crafting my shit. I'm learning my shit. You know right, what I'm saying, right? Right. And it's, it's always gonna take that first one, first everything, right? That first right. whatever, 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 whatever. You know what right. I'm saying. Once I get my first whatever, 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 whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying. Then. It flow after. Right. But you can't retire if you nah, ain't performing. I'm really yet. talking shit. No, nah, no, I'm just I'm just joking too. I'm just saying you just can't retire yet if you ain't perform. Yeah, you gotta perform. I gotta you know what? Yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. It, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Okay. You know what one of my goals are? Tell me one of the goals is. I want a crowd singing my song that I made up. You wanna cry? A crowd. A crowd, oh, okay. I want a crowd of people singing my song that I made up. You know what I'm saying? Like right. the words that I came up with. Right. And they singing this shit right. in the crowd. Right. That's a feeling, man. Huh? That's a feeling, man. I, I know it is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't never had before, man, but I know it's a feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. So, you know, that's you know what I'm saying. 
That's one of my goals that I want to yeah, reach. Yeah. And then when they come back to you years later, say, man, what that song you did back in the day? Woo, woo, man, let me, let me give me I'll that. come back right back yeah. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can do that. And all I'm saying is like, get out here, man. We need to, we need to get you a show. We need we need to be working on getting you a show. Man, we need okay. to work on, you know what I'm saying? You get out here, do some things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, get get out here and get some people to come to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, you know, uh, it's, it's it's cool you say that because she really, I'm really focusing on, uh, I want to do a listening party. That's dope. For the next, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The next, uh, for this uh, album here, mm -hmm. I do want to do like a, some type of semi listening party where it's like a, a you know just a, just a good way to get the music out, build a crowd of them, get the feel of you right. know the feel of the album. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I would definitely be love to be invited. Make sure you send me an invitation. Most definitely, you most definitely yeah, you will. Say you gonna have some food. Hey, yeah. that's all way you get yeah. nibbles yeah. to show yeah. up. Like, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like shit. You put that yeah. FF on the like, on the fly. Nigga said, nigga. F -F free food. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, yeah. we yeah, there. Nigga, nigga, we right, there. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, you late, nigga? But on some on some real shit. I wouldn't invite my people without putting something in their belly. Man. Oh, you man, know what I'm sorry. saying? That just, that just wouldn't even be right now. Nah. Yeah. If I didn't have enough, I'm sorry. No, it's not. Right. <laughs> I'm trying right. to have enough for everybody. You better get there early, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. nigga yeah. You yeah. see them crows yeah. in that yeah. pain, yeah. nigga. You yeah. Yeah. It, you was there <laughs> it was dirt. It was dirt, shit. You just missed out, goddamn me. Trying man. to be late. That what you get for being late. Yeah, when you were sitting late. at the house bullshitting, when you should have came, yeah, yeah. you missed the food. You know what I'm saying? Nigga rolling up that lab blunt, nigga. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit, all right. I'm finna be on my way I'm now. On my way now. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> Where the food at? Oh, you gotta order from the bar. <laughs> so, so, so that's one of your goals. What is name me? I want five goals, but since you already gave me one, which four mm. goals you got? So, four more. And where do you see yourself five years from now? Well, one more goal. I'ma just put up. Uh, hopefully that motherfucker hit right now. My new video that I dropped Monday. I'm hoping they get at least 500 views by the end of this week. And what's the name of the video? Amen. 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 I don't know them niggas. I don't fuck with them niggas. I don't trust them niggas. Man, them niggas be snitches. Amen. 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 Now we can help him get to that goal, man. Y'all make sure y'all 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 tune in <laughs> to Money Man Trey YouTube. You know what I'm talking about? Money Man Trey, you know check me out. About? You gonna love sure these videos. Y'all like, subscribe, and hit that notification. You know play, what I'm talking play, about? Play Instagram. Let's run it up. You know what I'm talking about? IG Money Man Trey. Money Man Trey. And, and, do, you, and do, you, do you got the music distributed too? Oh do yeah, it's on uh, most. All platforms. Both of those on uh, oh no, they on everything. They on okay. all platforms. Who you distribute to? Distro Kid. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Shit. You you um you heard about United Masters? Nah, hey, what's that? Man, that's a nice little platform. You probably want to look into it. It's another United Masters. Yeah, it's another just to get distribution to company. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people. Can I can I distribute it on both of them or or just uh, only one? No, nah, uh, um, it's certain terms you got with Distro Kid. I don't think you can do the same project. Mm -hmm. I know you can do different singles and different projects, but, but not your term one. up and you take that music down from Distro Kid, you can redistribute it through there. Oh, really? You can. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Sometimes they be stopping it though. Sometimes when it's the same, depending on the contract. Yeah, yeah you gotta just check with the distribution company and see. Yeah. Yeah. When you do it, and if they allow, then you can do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure they probably will. Ain't no telling. For sure. It's it's yeah. wheel is away. Yeah, it's a wheels away, goddamn me. It's a one way to skin the cat. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. What about so you win any uh any other PR, goals? You uh yeah, the goals so you got two down. <laughs> yeah, two. That was uh let me get trying to get to the five hundred no for this week though. Make sure we all remember that. Five hundred, yeah. Uh, we're trying to get to five hundred for the week. At least, please let me get there for the week. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh three three, I know I uh I want to expand my transportation business. You know, oh, that's really? that's that's a really Important thing to me because you know it's you know transportation is a thing you know and I'm trying to expand what I got going on. I got a couple of great things that's in the making that's gonna be, you know, profitable. Uh, I've started a nonprofit organization. You know this is it's, 
It's called, I want to put this in. It's called SMIC, Successful Men in the Community. And what we're doing is we are um, we're helping young men from the age of 14 through 18. Uh, we, we're teaching them different technical paths. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Teaching them different ways to get money because, you know, everybody ain't going to be a rapper. Everybody ain't going to be a ball player. Mm-hmm. So we're just showing different things. So we we uh, I, what I did was I started an aviation program. Okay. So, you know, a lot of my homeboys, a lot of friends, I what I did with into aviation. Okay. So I started like a five-week program where I take them to actually tomorrow morning is the uh, first day okay. of uh, this year two. Okay. So tomorrow I'm uh, taking my boys to the uh, air traffic control center. Okay. They're going to get to see how the airplanes move and, you know, operate. Then next week I'm going to take them to the uh, hangar and get to talk to the mechanics. Okay. Then, I'm take, then next week I'll take them to the school <clears throat> that I linked up with in Irving that showed them about getting into aviation school, you know, doing different things. We're helping them rev up engines and building circuit boards, just showing them about how getting into the school. Okay. So yeah. uh, I want that I want that program to expand in the next three, four years, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, it's kind of hard getting the boys, you know. Uh, that's, the, that's the hard part, you know, but if I can connect with some people that, you know, had the access to the young men, right? You know, and I can, uh, you know, it it'll help build the program. So tomorrow, the first day, we we gonna be going to the air traffic control center. You know, I'm taking that show them. You know, man, that's what's up, man. I like that right there. Congratulations. You need to take my son. <laughs> <Take> <laughs> he he asked me to come with us in the morning. He ain't doing that. You know, yeah, hey. up early in the morning. Shit, get him an Uber. <laughs> you know get him Uber. Uber his ass there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Nah, that's. That's what I like. I like to see things like that, for you sure, know. For sure. That's yeah. That show the growth in the community. They ain't saying all black men just ain't no good daddies and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you know we got stigma, just like the women got stigma. So you know. So I'm telling you so something it, dope about this though. What's, what's that? The the young men that is coming to this group, mm-hmm. it's their daddies that's bringing them. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Most Shout of them, it's the daddies that's. Putting them, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in the group, like telling them to do it. You know what shout, I'm saying? Shout out to the daddies. Sure. Shout, shout out to shout the daddies. Out, shout out to the mamas. Shit, if damn, if I get ass real to care, you got to shout out to everybody around this. <laughs> you two, they cancel you around this whole shit. Even at home, you get canceled around this bitch. Cancel, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, say, man. So, man, you, you still be freestyling? Man, I've never been the biggest freestyler. For real? But. I ain't saying that I can't. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well then fuck it then, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Yeah, yeah what's, what, what we got here? Let me see. Like they don't know me on the spot. Hey, nigga. That's my <laughs> To do it just for me. Damn, nigga, slow it down. I can't breathe. I was smoking on some blood. This nigga wanna make me rap. Don't you know it, nigga? I ain't running from no jail. Nigga, I ain't scared. I rock a microphone. Don't you know, nigga? I scared to go home. Cause them niggas be tripping, man. Them niggas don't play. I gotta stay around my family every day. I can't go around there. I can't go around here. Barbecue them slices Don't you know I like them girls They nice I'm staying all night I come in then fighting A girl got a ass Yeah I just like her She be like Hey Trey She said hey babe Don't you wanna come on my house And just play I said I do She said what to do Girl let me see that booty shake Ooh ooh I see that little Can you freestyle? I said, yeah. Don't you know, nigga? I ain't never been scared. Nigga, get that money, nigga. Ain't she funny? Call me money. 
around in my head, nigga, how I be dunking I sit up in your face, nigga, talk that shit I'm a Memphis ass nigga, uh, I love my click I'm for born shy haven, nigga, black haven bound Nigga, don't you know, uh, we don't frown on no silly ass nigga It what you wanna do Nigga, calm down, nigga, I stay true, uh Amen Amen Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. had fun, y'all. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's going down. That you is the first, first official time I ever freestyle on a microphone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was kind of fun, nigga. Yeah, yeah, shit. fun. <laughs> nigga, shit. You get, nervous, you get loose, shit. You be like, damn, I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. <laughs> I can say whatever fuck I just want to say. I can fuck up, nigga, and get back on that motherfucker. Get right back on it. I nigga, I don't give a fuck. All I had to do is go, (laughs) and I'm back on it. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm gonna get the car and get crunk on the way home. Nigga, that bitch like double judge, nigga. You want to hold up? Like, hold up. Oh, yeah. Bitch, bitch, nigga. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I got it, nigga. No, I'm gonna jump back in. Nah, for real, for real, man. What you sipping on, man? Yeah, 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 shit. Yeah. Right now. No, yeah, no, man. You shit, they ain't got cotton mouth. You had to take a drink, nigga. Shit. Yeah, nigga, shit. Nigga, that was real, nigga. nigga yeah, rapping is that workout, ain't it? Nigga, nigga, nigga talking about nigga, nigga don't get no workout. Oh, nigga, nigga. When you rap, nigga, you, nigga, it's a workout. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Nah, for real, for mm-hmm. real. I be out of breath like one. I'm telling you, nigga, like a nigga did 40 push ups, nigga. Mm-hmm. Shit. Nigga, like, God damn. Shit. And don't let it be like a hard beat like that. Oh yeah, that where it's just going. Oh, uh-huh. You gonna be uh, yeah. That, 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 that was that gangster walk beat. That was that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that Memphis gangster yeah. walk beat. I right, got two times. It was two times where I was like, oh, oh. and like I've been working out too. Though, you know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to you know what I'm saying get my little body in shape, but still, yeah, it, yeah, you still yeah, can't get in shape for that man. man. It's not even for real. It's gonna go. It's gonna run it, man. So like, man. So like, man, have you, who you ever wanted to do or work with? Like since you've been doing this music, like any artists you've been wanting to collab with. You know who you got your eye on? Ah, not too too many back because I'm trying to make a little. You know what I'm saying? See if I can not just do it by myself. Okay. But let me be known for right, right. my style. Right. Okay. You know, uh, trying to get a special feature. Uh, Duro. Duro. Yeah. Trying Ooh, to get a. Oh uh, shit! What makes you say Duro? Shout out Duro. You know, he's. A, I like Duro. Duro, okay. good rapper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got he got a good little style. You right. know, he uh. Got to got to get a little connect with him, so you know, try to reach out to him. Yeah. Um. Shit. Anybody want to work with me? You know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Goddamn. Anybody want to work with me? I'm I'm down. You know. Oh, yeah, uh, Brandy Bugatti. Okay. All you know. Right. Well, we were supposed to be doing something together. Uh, I had to switch it up. Right. So I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to come up with something else that I can get her on. I like I like Brandy Bugatti style. All right. She. Uh, All right. She's a nice rapper, you know what I'm saying? Already, shout out two times. You know what I'm talking about? Any any hot any other hot artists out here that you you know who your top five? Like just rapping, rapping, right, right, yeah, the rapping, world yeah. or yeah, give me the world. Oh, you know, like top US? five. Nah, nah, give me give me the, give me yeah, give me top five in the world, and then give me top five local. Mm, top five local. Uh huh. Dallas local. Oh, uh, I like uh. Blowfly? Ooh, you, oh, so we going Dallas local first. Okay, Blowfly. Blowfly, I like dude. Man, that he, nigga he both, tight. Ooh. He tight. He got some, he got some, he got a that, nice love. That nigga, that, that nigga fuck tight. That nigga hard. Yeah, that nigga got a nice love. That nigga hard. I like that nigga. Yeah. Uh, now I got to put my boy Bunky up there now. I can't. Oh, yeah, Bunky. I can't. I can't that's, the, yeah. that's the hardest working nigga in Pleasant Grove. Yeah. Argue me. Yeah, the hardest nigga in the club. Right Argue now. me. Yeah. yeah, hardest nigga in the Grove. You Argue know, me. Hardest working nigga in the Grove. <laughs> Uh, let's see what well, I mean. That's two, two. Uh, I like the row. The row. All right. Row. Uh, one, three. Yeah, hey, you three. on three right now. That's three. Uh, Dallas, Dallas. Alive? You know I'm gonna say more three. You can say, you ain't gotta okay, be. Okay. He can be alive. Three. Got to put uh, three though. Passed away. More yeah. three. Shout gotta out more three. three. R.I.P. More three. Who else? Oh. Uh, Ain't thinking that big tuck that, that nigga name. Some dead song. He was kind of cool. That nigga that was kind of cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah big tuck. Yeah, that yeah, nigga had yeah. some tight little shit yeah, too. Though, you know? Oh, but I still got to put my boy uh, Big Chief on that though. Man. Oh, Big Chief. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Okay. So, All right. I put him in the midst of uh, 
What a nigga other nigga just said. Big Tuck. I had to put him in front of Big. I had to put him in front of Big Tuck. Okay. He had, he had long. He had a longevity of right. the mixtape, and right. I liked the thing. You know what I'm right. saying? So, right. Yeah, we'll I like I like that I like that yeah. big tuck. Yeah, he yeah, has some yeah, nice little songs yeah. though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, right. I can't I can't front on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So f- five, five worldwide. worldwide. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause... Nah, it ain't hard. Talking about like in life in general or Man, just see. well, yeah, like I say, you know, I'm ball. I already no one. You know, ball ball. I I, I got like I said, I got to put pimp up there because my type of you know what I'm I saying pimp, no rap too. you know what I'm saying my type of rap that's just ball and pimp yeah oh uh, man you know I'm, I'm hard on I'm hard on rappers I ain't gonna lie to you damn I'm a little hard on rappers you know I got to have pop but I'm just saying you no know, I, I that's I don't want to say pop that's too much just a given you know what I'm okay. saying everybody can right. everybody can just, everybody say pop right oh. Uh, Niggas gonna hate me. Niggas gonna be mad. But I gotta put God in there. Who? Yo, God. Yo, God. For real? Because that's my. That's my. That, that's your error. That's, that's your my error. That's, that's my round. That's the my. Era. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because right. I'm gonna tell you one thing about God. Mm. You say whatever you want. Okay. Elevated his right. game and his rap. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. He, so yeah. I, that's 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 what I that's yeah. what I respect him for. You know I, what I'm saying? I'm ready now. God got some. God got some shit. He elevated yeah. his shit. You know God what I'm saying? God came out hard in the bitch. And she, you know, I like Dolph too now, so I can't, I can't, I gotta put them like slash. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I yeah. fuck with both of them, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know, nigga, Memphis gonna, boy, Memphis, them Memphis niggas gonna get me all up in the comments on this one. Nah, that's y'all. <laughs> that's, that's the out of towners. Yeah, that's the out of towners. You, you do get yeah. your split. Yeah. But, majority, but you know, for yeah. all of us, we like shit. We fuck with both, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we for don't, real, for real. They all, make good music. Yeah, yeah, yeah they uh-huh. do. Uh, I like this little young nigga from Memphis, Eddie Valero. Eddie Valero, okay. I like that little young nigga. All right. That little young nigga, he got that down south umph to him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Okay. I like that little young nigga. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Shout out to So that's all. That's your top five. That's my top five. In the world. Okay. I bet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a down south nigga, man. You know right what I'm now, saying? So I can't, I can't say no East Coast nigga because right. I don't vibe to that yeah. music like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. West Coast niggas, I like a few of them. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, like, so, I'm a Cube. Cube uh, is my my mentor. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? I, like, right, I watch right. him but from afar. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like yeah. how that nigga move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that's my that's my mentor. You know what I, what I'm saying? I like, I, like, I like them Bay niggas. I like, you know, I, I mean, say, I like... Be legit. I like E40. You know what I'm like saying? Like 40. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I See, love y'all, uh, uh, Texas kind of like gravitate to the West quicker than we did. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. You know y'all, what I'm saying? Uh, y'all gravitate to the West quicker than yeah. us. I like, I like too, the West too, too though. Short, you know. I, nah, you come yeah. on, that. That's a, you can't, yeah. that's MCA, not easy. You know short is the dog, nah. Yeah, I MCA love Short. The, yeah, Short's the nigga, MC8 too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And shit, you know. I just like grimy rap, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rap, That's yeah. the, I just, I can't, I don't Dog like the, Pound was a fool. Nigga, I used to be on that oh, Dog yeah, Pound. Dog that jump, that used to yeah. go hard. Nigga, Warren G in there. That West know? Coast Connect jump was tight, yeah, though. West, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, West Coast. Bye that down, jump, yeah, that, that's a, that whole album. They had Bye a little down. title there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that West Side. And then the album cover was just like, it was yeah, dope. yeah, it, it was dope. dope. So he's like, nigga, I gotta get this whole thing. All black nigga with three heads on his whole nigga, nigga, little gangster in the bitch. And Mac 10 was hard. Mac 10 was hard. Mac 10 bitch. was hard, man. Yo, Four lies. You know Belly through the hood <laughs> with stripes. Nigga, what? I fuck with Mac 10. That man. nigga you know whole album was yeah, hard. He had you know, hard album. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. shit. And he was coming out he right after with Sir Mix a Lot and shit, huh? He had to go get with them down south niggas, though. That man, say. You know what I'm saying? To get hey, the career back going. But you, but you know, but you know, even before that, even before he came down south and fucking with cash money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Cash Money, Birdman. They've been having a long run. They've been having a game on lock. Shot free BG is out this motherfucker making. <laughs> man, they that nigga, man, that nigga BG shit so hard. Yeah. BG, one of my other rappers, just like one of my low key I can secret say, weapons. In you the day when I was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. I took between like Juvie, I fucked with Juvie because he was the commercial side, uh-huh. but he had. But he had songs like bangers. Yeah, nigga, that nigga don't get me. He had juvie, that nigga. 
but BG had the grimy side. <laughs> BG had the grimy side. Yeah, of, BG uh, had the grimy yeah. side like a bitch, but yeah. but, 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 but nigga Juve that nigga, Juve that nigga. Uh, BG, cause <laughs> Juve had songs. <laughs> With, man, Juve. Did say, you see him on uh on Tiny Dicks? Yes, I see that him on shit Tiny Dicks. That shit hard. To me, he got fuck. one of the best ones. Yeah, you he know what I'm saying? Him, him, him and uh, uh Scarface. I'm going to tell you, I'm him and got, Scarface, I'm tell you huh? who got the best one. Who that? Nah, I don't, don't laugh at me. That damn girl, Summer Walker. Who, Summer Walker? Oh, yeah. yeah. watch her. Oh, yeah, Summer Walker. Yeah. yeah. This one. Man. This when she was in her. This was, she did this like like five years ago. Mm -hmm. This when she was in her natural state. Mm -hmm. Man, she was so sensual on there. Check it out, check it out. She dope on there. I mean, you were eye gazing, my nigga. You want listening? I, I, I ain't gonna lie. The little motherfucker caught me. I was watching this shit going through. I was like, oh, this little motherfucker cute. Like, <laughs> shit, nah, for real. Mm. Who? Oh yeah, Chloe and Halle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Them. Man, I'm girls. Man, I'm okay, girls. I ain't yeah. saying that one. Nah. You want to play Little Mermaid, Hallie, and her sister? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, them girls, right? Them two, them sisters, man, they... They, they sing? Yeah, and they hold. Mm -hmm. They hold, and they produce yeah. their own shit. I'm going to check them out then. Okay. Yeah, they use that same motherfucker right here. That motherfucker, that motherfucker push. They use that uh, right there and make all they shit with. Yeah. Damn. Hey, yeah, yeah. They, they, they that Ableton Live, they own it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, they cold with it, man. And uh, but Chris Brown also, Bro, they, he been taking over the scene. Let me tell you something about Chris uh -huh. Brown, real shit, uh -huh. and it's so funny. They say he's the, he the Michael Jackson of yesterday. our era. I just told somebody this yesterday, 2010. Mm -hmm. I went to a Chris Brown concert, right, and left a fan. I was like, this little nigga just put on the show. Yeah. I was like, God damn. I, yeah. I, I actually left a fan like, I like Chris Brown now. Yeah. Man, fuck it. Hey, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, shit, I go on that minute now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. That nigga that, I like Chris Brown, nah, though. He do real. his thing, though. Yeah, yeah. If I had shit. to put him on top five mm -hmm. of, of hip hop, right. he'll be 5B. Five B, yeah. Nigga, he in there. Cause like, he can do a rap. Talking about to my nigga, I'm in there. I'm in there, nigga. I'm in there. Shit, nah, for real. Shit, goddamn me. Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Man, you gonna put one of them videos on World Star or something? Man, I uh, I don't know how to do this shit. Shit, just contact World Star, nigga. Get the contract agreement online, nigga. Oh, for pay, real. Pay that little fee. Put your video on. Oh, nothing about this shit. You know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? make it your shit on World Star. Get some more for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want. I saw where I could put my shit. Through distro key, the video. Yeah, the video, you can distribute have, your video. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I need to do that anyway, though, just yeah. to. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, show the video yeah, on there, then, too. Yeah, and then, and then when a nigga like me try to play it, that's when I get copyright strike. Right? <laughs> that seemed like what happened, though, didn't it? <laughs> they got you. You know what I'm saying? On your own shit. They got you. They got you. You know what I'm saying? On your own music. They got you. No, but you know what I'm saying? I do now. I know I do not own the rights to this music. This is fair use. <laughs> just gotta know how to say it. Just gotta nah, know how to uh, say nah, it, man. For real. Like, but man, yeah, you gotta do that, man. That right there will bring more views and everything like that. And that's and, yeah, like, I need to do that, and sometimes that's how I be discovering new artists. And then you gotta go definitely mess over go over there and mess with half paint. Get your get your music reviewed. You know what I'm saying? Go half paint films, type them up on Instagram, whatever, inbox them. You'll see his advertisement on his page, inbox him, get your music reviewed and shit like Have that. Have pint. Have pint film. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. Yeah, man. You know, go over there, get your interview with Dallas Global. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just go start tamping in. He's in city. Dallas, Have Pint? Yeah. Okay. Have Pint in Dallas, um, or Arlington, one of the two. Yeah. You know, Dallas yeah. Global out here. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Villa uh, uh, Cola, Villa Cola, you know what I'm saying? Radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just go start tapping in, man. See, so, you know, I, like I'm saying, shit, you know, like now, I'm just, I'm using all the resources I got. Right, now, I'm just, and, and you see right, I'm right, sitting right here, right? right. And, I'm, and I'm telling you, you know, know what I'm saying? Go, go. go over there to Boss Talk, tap in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go, you know, go top in, you know, go super tight, tap in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Get out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and definitely get out here to these shows and stuff, because people... Once they start seeing your face, they enough. That's what it is. Oh, I, yeah. just, I just, I just need, I do need to get more visible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Actually, I got a. Uh, I suppose we be going somewhere tomorrow. On a uh, friend of mine, he he be uh, he on bars. Mm -hmm. He buy bars. He want me to come out there, and uh, shout out to my boy Issa. Right. Uh, 
he want me to come out there and uh, look at the setup. Right. So I can do like a little small performance. But that's what I want to do like with my listening party. Yeah, do a, uh, a performance yeah, for your cause, listening party. Because I'm like, yeah. shit, I, one thing I can't say, if I can't perform in front of my friends and family, you can't perform in front of nobody. Right. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? You can't come to that. Yeah, <laughs> well, you better and, and go tune into my nigga um, Trey. Yeah. My nigga Trey, say something. You know what I'm saying? Say some radio. You know what I'm saying? Downtown. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. You know he been wanting us to come back. I'm gonna have to go back to his show. But uh, say some radio. Yeah, say something. You know what I'm saying? But man, before I get up out of here, uh, I always ask this question. You know what I'm saying? If I, if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? If you was in my shoes, if I was in your shoes, mm -hmm. and there what, was something that you didn't ask, what question would what you? Question? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I I could say as a most part, I feel like this was a phenomenal interview. Appreciate and it. We did it. I think that you know the content was really great. You gave great questions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I would say that anything that. A really good job, you know. I like to say how I feel about this journey, but I think you kind of said that though, right? Right, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you asked me where I want to be at in the next five years. Well, next, well, you know, I don't think we did kind of, yeah, I did ask you that. You did, but I don't think I kind of, you know, no, like finished off, yeah. like, yeah, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, like, but I do, I can say that, you know, in the next few, in the next. I'm 45, man. So I need to, I need to, I need to have me a woman in the house, and yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying, right. like, a, you know, stability is yeah. that time now. Yeah. You know Some what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know, ownership. You can only play so long out right. here in these streets. You know hey, what I'm saying? Yeah. And she. Hey, nigga, yeah. nigga needs some stability out here, man. You Damn know right, shit. shit. Goddamn me, shit. Before you know it, nigga, we were holding them up. You know Before. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about? We all wake up different. And then we used to be them <laughs> young niggas talking about, man, we ain't going to be no old man talking about what he could have been, should have been. You know what I'm saying? We used to be the old nigga. We know how we, nigga, we used to talk down on them old niggas. You talk know what down saying? on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, then nigga, that creeping up, it's going to yeah, creep right behind up. you, you know as you talking. Yeah, yeah, it's like nigga, you ain't gonna be old like that. For, I mean, young like that forever. You know nah, what I'm saying? what they used to say. Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna be young like that forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you better get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I, I want to say two things. One is a question, mm -hmm. and then one is kind of like getting on your ass, cause I'm finna get on your motherfucking ass. I take. It. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You know what I'm saying? So the first one is that. Is there? Anything in life that you will ever go back and change? And if so, what would it be? Is there anything I change? It's a few things I change though, you know what I'm saying? Just because you know, you 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 know, you you learn as you move as you move, you know what I'm saying? Right. You, uh, I just say, you know, it was it was it was a couple of career things back in the day that I, you know, that I could have did better. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know, like you, you know, you try some shit and then it flop. You know what I'm saying? Just dealing right. with a lot of people in the streets and just trying to, you know, do shit. I lost a lot of money just off of, you know, like fucking with niggas and you right. know what I'm saying, trying to come up. Right. And then you know, you get the shot in of the stick. You know what I'm right. saying? And you know, it's all about the bounce back. All about the bounce. You know what I'm saying? Like how you know, telling me you can. You can it's all about when you lose it. How you right. know? That's the hardest part, man. That's why. That's the fear. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like shit losing out here, man. Right. Cause it's easy to, you know what I'm saying? Right. To, you know, shit getting rough out here right now, man. You know what I'm saying? It is. It is, nigga. So, so what kind of encouragement and words could you give somebody or some advice? You know, man, just shit. You got a plan, or even if you ain't got a plan, plan, but you just got a passion or something, man, push it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you when you focus on one thing, you will strive on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you hear, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it look good and sound good on right. paper, right? But you're not putting your focus 
all the way into something. I was talking about multitasking. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? It's good and it sounds good and right. it looks good though, right. but you know what I'm saying? You kind of really be hindering yourself a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. For real. Multitasking. Uh, you know, I just like to Too much on your plate, trying to be everything. <laughs> like that book we used to have, The Man with the Hat. You remember when he used to have all the hats? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 head, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's the old. Uh, who was the little riddle? The little, uh, the little riddle book. Well, yeah, the riddle yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I can't think of the little yeah. hat in the cat yeah. like type yeah. book. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah. yeah, it was just like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Man had too many hats. Too many hats. Yeah, man. had too many you know hats. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like wearing too many hats, man. Like you got, you got to get grounded. Right. And you got to get grounded. On focus on you something. And focus on that and get that pump and get it all the way to mm -hmm. to its good. I mean, to its potential and then break off into whatever. Cause we give else. up too easy, right? Man, on right. This shit, yeah. Man. Hey, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause shit costs. They yeah. Shit costs. Nah, I do, yeah. Man. Yeah. So what I'm gonna get on your ass about? I want to hear. P R O. P R O. I'm gonna say it's a like pro, but it must be mean something else. I know because you don't know nothing about it, uh -huh. right? So you know I know. What? So so now I can't think. I know where you finna go with this. <laughs> I don't know so, nothing about this shit, man. So I think, this, I think it, you told me one time, man, and I have. I think you told me and one I time, have. yeah. And you and you on this and you on this deluxe, you know what I'm you saying? You know what I'm saying, yeah. Really and you want all that. this. You want this crowd. You want all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you ain't got a shiny nickel to show for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So it's like it's like you know it goes boils back to the advice you giving people you know what I'm saying the hats Respect. you know what I'm saying you gotta take care of your business Respect. you know what I'm saying your business is the foundation yeah that's the foundation that gets you to where you're trying to go yeah. you know what I'm saying Real if you don't have no foundation you don't have no house mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like and that's just what it is and PRO is a, is, is a performance rights organization okay you know what I'm saying it's your mm -hmm. ass cap your BMI your six X mm -hmm. I do remember you talking about this yeah. Before. Mm hmm You need to get that tonight. Yeah. Yeah, man, for real. You need to go get your ASCAP, sign up for, for writers. If you want ASCAP publishing, get that too at the same time. If you want BMI, I suggest get two. I suggest get uh uh ASCAP writers, uh ASCAP publishing, then go to BMI and get BMI publishing. Or you mm -hmm. can do vice versa, go get BMI writers, BMI publishing, and then ASCAP publishing. Mm -hmm. So you be both. You know what I'm saying? Then you need to go to Harry Fox Agency and then get your publishing. P line number. Yeah. Or you can go to the MLC. The I MLC. do have an LLC, but I don't have it. Nah, not, not an yeah. LLC. Oh, okay. I said the M okay. L C. You, you know go. what I'm saying? There For you publishing. Go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To collect your publishing royalties. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the LLC is good sometimes for a business. Sometimes but I'm still it's, that's different though. Yeah, different yeah, line, yeah, because you be paying taxes, and that's another thing. I need to get control of mine while I'm talking about handling business. And when I'm handling business, I need to get up on my LLC. I ain't even. It's staying to have. I just, yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it ain't. Depending on where you at you in your it? business. Yeah. You if you're ready for it, then you need to get it. If you're not, it's ways around uh, conducting the business. You know what I'm saying? Without having the LLC, it is. and still taking care of it is. Uh, legal, right. Yeah, DBA. At least a DBA. D yeah, get a DBA yeah. doing business. That was the first thing I got. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to right. market your shit. You got to right. brand your shit first right. of all because a nigga was still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And then, you, and then like, right there, you need, and then from there, you need to start learning the business. Mm -hmm. It's a journey. We always get in this game, and then we want this and that, but we don't learn the business. That's the first step. You can always record. Recording ain't shit. It's that easy to nothing. record. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get a beat. But learn the business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once you learn the business, you know somewhat, you'll know some back ends. You know, you can get some royalties yeah. on this, and then you'll be able to know, like, oh, all I need to do is get on the plane and go visit Empire uh -huh. and set up a meeting. And then talk con contract the work to see what you're trying to do in order to make you some money. Mm -hmm. See what they can do for you. See how it benefits you. And if it benefits you, if it benefits them, then y'all make that agreement, make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just not. It's not that we're not in the game no more. Where people discover you. Uh -huh. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? It like we like, and, and and then that too is a myth of people just discovering you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's people yeah. that getting out there. They working. You got people shopping. You got people marketing. You got people mm -hmm. putting this in this people mm -hmm. hand, talking this business. Then you know, then you behind closed doors doing meetings. So that's what it takes. And I just say I advise you to do that on your journey, on your next album, really, while you got your team. I appreciate that. Yeah, oh, yeah. It ain't nothing, man. And uh, make sure, tell the fans where they can reach you, man. So I'm on I'm on all platforms, uh, Instagram, 
Money Man, and that Man is spelled M A N E. Mm -hmm. Trey, T R E, Money Man Trey. I'm on uh, Facebook, Trey Lewis, L E W I S, and uh, Thrills on Wheels. You know, uh, Thrills on Wheels is spelled not S on the end, Z, like T H R I L L Z O N W H E E L Z. That's Thrills on Wheels. On, I, on Instagram and Facebook. So, you know, hey, reach out, please. You know, you see, the, see the music you like, like a share, you know. Just enjoying this journey, you know. And uh, Oh, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful journey, you know what I'm saying? Because he got me fucked up talking about Terrence Howard. <laughs> Terrence Howard ain't the real. Uh, and fucked up. Mine. Nah, that, that was the real man. 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 That Terrence, that was the real man. Give me mine. <laughs> I'm like, who is this nigga <laughs> talking this shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, see, Terrence Howard been in the game hey, for a but, long but, time. But, but, but I'm going to tell you something, though. What? Even though we fucked with him on uh, how he said that, uh -huh. he played a Memphis nigga. Right to to a great, you know what I'm saying. Right. I ain't gonna say to a T, uh -huh. but he did a really good job of playing a Memphis nigga. Who was playing Skinny Pimp or was he playing? Um... No, nah, Skinny Pimp was supposed. To, I guess I guess that was supposed to have been Luda. Who Ludacris was? Skinny okay, Black. so okay, Skinny you Black. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then, who was he playing? I can't. I can't. I, I really can't say who he was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Portraying to play. Right. Just you know, just a Memphis nigga, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, I, I don't think I don't think it was ever because somebody said it was one of the rappers from Memphis. It was one of the uh, it was like either Skinny Pimp or uh, what was that? Uh, What's that? White uh, the third with Tommy White. Tommy White the uh, third. Uh, and, and then who? who uh, it was one of them. It was the uh, Skinny Pimp or what was the other pimp? Skinny name? Pimp. Skinny. If if if, if, if if so, they say uh -huh. if it was Skinny Pimp, it had to have been Skinny Black. Because I saw I saw an interview with Skinny did say something about he was kind of you know about him using his name and image right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I think that's who he was portraying. Right. Who D was playing? I I, I can't say I don't know. Right. Maybe Tommy Wright. You know right. what I'm saying? Because he had the perm and shit like him and all what. But I don't, I I can't that that I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That I don't know. But. He played a Memphis nigga though. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? yeah, yeah. Memphis got the shine yeah. on. You yeah, know he played saying? a Memphis nigga though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Shit. I with like the, that. With the Chevy and yeah, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it was. He had that shit. Yeah, you know he what did. Saying? You know, you know. Just, man, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Say, so, and then also, I like the Choices movie too. That's yeah. a fucking classic. That's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that choices, choices was. Yeah. That was that's a classic. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm you saying? What I'm that, saying? That's, that's one of them movies, man. Yeah, that's one of them movies, man. But I appreciate you coming out fucking with me. Man, you know I appreciate what I'm you for having me, man. Oh you know yeah, what I'm man. Oh real. yeah, we gonna have to do this again. You know what I'm saying? When I oh, drop yeah. this album. Yeah. When I go, when I do my retirement album, I'm gonna come here and tell everybody <laughs> first that I'm retiring, and I want y'all to come out and support me because I'm retiring, and come see me before I leave. Yeah, hey, yeah. Now come back. The retire album <laughs> coming soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we about this. Biatch. <laughs> I'm too